What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel My name is Joshua Daniel George. I own a social media marketing agency and I'm also an online coach Where I basically teach you guys on how to do the same how to start your own agency How to get your first clients how to get multiple clients how to automate it scale it so that you can also live life on your own terms And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Facebook advertising policies and how you can work around them so that your ads never ever get disapproved again. No, I don't waste no time. Okay guys and welcome back to the video. So as I mentioned in the introduction today, we're going to be looking at Facebook's advertising policies because I get so many questions about this guys and you know I have had my fair share of experiences with this as well. Um, for those that don't know, I'm actually um, like permanently banned from Facebook um, on my personal profile. So uh, basically now we've got like a complete ecosystem set up for the agency so that um, I no longer use my profile, the media buyers uh, use their profiles, they've added me as admin as well so I can uh, use their business managers etc to set up ads for our clients etc. Um, but like I said, you know, my personal profile, so not the business manager, not the ad account, my personal profile is permanently restricted from um, ever using Facebook basically for advertising uh, reasons. And um, obviously, you know, this is all due to, um, you know, me setting up ads that were in compliance with Facebook's advertising policies, um, you know, logging in from multiple locations, setting up um, ads for a webinar that they saw as multi-level marketing, etc., which we will all get into in just a moment. And, you know, obviously with the amount of experiences that we've got, uh, the amount of clients that we've had uh, currently or in the past, etc., you know, I now have my fair share of experience with Facebook's policies and how to go around getting ads um, approved, getting, you know, your accounts back, etc., but also, um, you know, basically how to go around Facebook's policies so that you don't get any issues moving forward, okay? So um, anyway, from a media buyer's point of view, I highly recommend you go to facebook.com forward slash policies forward slash ads just to basically educate yourself on everything that is allowed and what is not allowed um, from Facebook because Facebook are constantly updating this and there is one important thing that you do need to remember with Facebook is that the uh, first and number one priority always is the user experience, okay? So media buyers, businesses, etc., they all come secondary to uh, the user experience so you know obviously they want us to use their platform they want us to spend money on facebook advertisements but it can't harm the user experience in any way shape or form so if we set up an advertisement uh, that says you know get rich quickly earn money online start an online business etc someone does that gets burnt you know because obviously there are a lot of people out there that are just selling a a fake program without any you know experience to back it up but just selling the theory you know and then the customer will buy it get you know disheartened or get uh, you know feel ripped off put a complaint in with Facebook and then it's Facebook's issue to deal with and Facebook just don't want that to happen in any way, shape or form because obviously it harms Facebook's reputation. So Facebook is extremely strict with things like this right now because, you know, just think of the amount of people that are on Facebook on a daily basis, the amount of advertisements that are getting published, the amount of campaigns that are being run. Facebook just needs to basically be ruthless with it because, you know, otherwise there's too many moving parts, there's too many issues to deal with. So the way Facebook do it now is you set up a campaign, you publish an advertisement, and then Facebook's crawlers, so basically their algorithm, automatically detects if this advertisement is compliant, yes or no. Okay, so it's not a human being that's reviewing your advertisement thinking, hmm, you know what, um, according to section B of paragraph 59, chapter 2, uh, this advertisement could potentially be um, you know, rejected. It's not not unlike that. Okay, it's an it's just an algorithm that checks it. Then, if you think that the algorithm has got it wrong, which in a lot of cases it does, because obviously you know this is just a robot that checks your ads in like a tenth of a tenth of a second, um, and then rejects it or approves it. Then you can appeal, and then a human being will have a uh, look at your advertisements and see if it was uh, rightfully disapproved, yes or no. 
Okay, so what you need to realize is that the advertisement, as you can see here, uh, when you look at the ad review process, basically you set up the ads, you publish the ads, and then a crawler will look over the ad list. You just crawl over your um, your, your campaign, see if it's compliant. If it is, then it will move on to your landing page, do the same thing, crawl over your landing page, see if it's compliant. If both are compliant, it will approve it. If both or if one of the two is not compliant, it will reject it and then you can appeal. Okay, so don't get, uh, you know, basically demotivated, disheartened or freak out if something gets rejected or disapproved because you can always appeal. But with that said, um, in terms of the advertisements, you can, you know, appeal as many times as you want at the time of recording this. Your ad account, same thing, usually after three to five times when you uh, get your ad account disapproved and you appeal it for like, a, let's say a third time, then they might just leave it open so that you can't uh, appeal again, but they just won't reply to you. So basically after three to five times, it will be permanently disabled. Your business manager, you only get one chance. So if your business manager is disabled, you usually only get one chance to appeal that. Your personal profile is the next thing to go. Um, as far as I know, that is pretty permanent. As soon as your personal profile gets restricted, then it is game over, unfortunately. So what we're going to do today is basically discuss some things that you can do to prevent that from ever, ever happening, like it's happened to me and like I've had to learn the hard way. Okay, so as they already mentioned here, the steps to take if disapproved is to edit your advertisements and then appeal the decision. And more often than not, just a simple tweak in the copy the the headline the image will actually you know get your accounts approved um, and what you need to try and do because Facebook try and cover up cover up their tracks okay so they don't want uh, because it's all an algorithm and a bot they don't want to pinpoint exactly what you did wrong just in case the bot gets it wrong because obviously you know it is a self learning algorithm and it's not going to be 100% perfect so Facebook wants to prevent um, your advertisements getting banned for one specific reason and then you coming out and saying listen that reason never ever happens because again it harms Facebook's reputation so they keep things vague okay they say it's not compliance with advertising policies your URL was not compliant with advertising policies um, you know there was something in the content that was prohibited and so on and so forth so they keep it vague and then it's up to you to try and figure out okay what exactly did i do wrong okay from there obviously like i said you know you can appeal the decision and um what you can see in the advertising policies is basically what could potentially be um, the reason why it got uh, rejected or you know disapproved or you know banned in the first place so as you can see here they've got an entire section of prohibited content um, advertisements that aren't following the community standards. Again, if you click on community standards, you get an entire list of things about Facebook and that they want the user experience to be number one, blah, 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 blah. Um, so yeah, feel free to look at that, um, you know, basically when you're setting up your ads. And then obviously you've got the most common things that usually get disapproved or almost always get disapproved. Um, you know, illegal products, services, uh, as you can see here, tobacco, drugs, guns, etc. You know, everything that is basically common sense that it will get disapproved. Um, but also things like dating, gambling, business opportunities, etc., are not allowed and are not compliant with Facebook's advertising policies. And again, that does not mean that you can't promote it. They just make it really, really difficult for you to promote it because like I said, their user experience is number one and they want to prevent, for example, a child going onto Facebook and seeing all kinds of dating uh, applications and software um, on their newsfeed because I don't know because someone with the same IP address is looking up those uh, you know those softwares. Okay, as you can see, a sense uh, sensational content, personal attributes, misinformation, and so on and so forth. Profanity, another one. Again, just think you know there are a lot of people underage on Facebook, and then here we have multi-level marketing, which usually is one of the most common. Uh, reasons for my advertisements getting disapproved and a lot of us in the industry uh, have to deal with this as well and with multi-level marketing the first thing I think of is a pyramid scheme you know basically where someone sells a product but it's not actually the product that is getting sold it's it's you know basically the the, the license to sell the product onto other people etc but that is not the case multi-level marketing according to Facebook is anything 
that offers a quick compensation. So if you say earn money online, earn money from your laptop, earn money with social media, um, you know, work from anywhere in the world while earning money with you know minimum effort, etc. Facebook see that as quick compensation and do not allow it because, like I said, guys, even though you know we might be setting up these ads with the best of intentions, there are a lot of gurus out there that are just you know basically selling this product, selling this this unreal reality because they want to make money from you, okay? And that is why obviously Facebook um, you know disapprove all of this and basically you know they don't even give you the chance as soon as you say something about money, about income claims, uh, which we'll get into in just a moment, uh, your Facebook will just disapprove it and chances are that you know stuff like basically stuff like this is very very difficult to get approved. It's not impossible. But it's very, very difficult, and your ads need to be almost as so clean that it's just not appealing at all. Uh, you know, before Facebook actually allow the ads to be ran. Okay. Second um, most common one is obviously the misleading claims, and as you can see here, ads must not contain it contain deceptive, false, or misleading claims such as those relating to the effectiveness or characteristics of a product or service or claims setting unrealistic expectations for users such as misleading health, employment, or weight loss claims. So as you can see, they've tailored this a bit to fitness because obviously fitness is a very, very big industry and niche, especially online, you know, with uh, these online coaches, uh, online weight trainers, online, um, I don't know, personal fat loss, motivators and all stuff like that. And obviously the most common way to promote something like that is to say, lose weight quickly, lose fat instantly, um, you know, lose that belly fat, get that six pack because those are pe those are keywords and search terms that people literally search for. You know, ev everyone has tried the, to Google how to get a six pack or how to lose weight or something like that. Um, and that is why people within this niche and industry use that in their copy, in their headline, because they know that is what people are looking for. But not everyone will get the same results in that short amount of time. You know, there are people that are uh, suffering from obesity, etc., and they will not get a six pack overnight. So by saying that, you know, you're creating a false perception of reality and it is a misleading claim for that person. Again, just think Facebook wants the user experience to be number one. So they will uh, remove your advertisements or disapprove, reject it, and so on and so forth. Same goes for business opportunities. If I say, learn how to start a seven figure business overnight again you know facebook will not approve that because it's not realistic for everyone so what you can do in this situation is the following you can use the i form so for example one of my campaigns that got disapproved was learn how to start a social media agency in 14 days i'm talking to you and for uh, some people 14 days might be too short, so that is a false perception of reality. Facebook rejected it. But what I then did was I said, learn how I started a six-figure social media agency within 14 days, and that is just an example. It's a almost a case study because I'm using myself as the example, and Facebook almost cannot dis disapprove it. Obviously, you know they might, they will try it, but at the, if you appeal that, chances are you will get your account back, and you know your um, advertisements will be approved. Okay. So use yourself or a case study um, to, you know, basically promote your services and products, etc., rather than making a misleading claim. So rather than saying, learn how you can get a six pack overnight, you can say, learn how John Smith got a six pack overnight mm -hmm. or learn how I got a six pack overnight. OK, so moving on, obviously, spyware, malware, stuff like that uh, is not allowed and um, actually moving back to the, the fitness related stuff before and after images are not allowed either. And that doesn't count for just fitness, uh, but obviously fitness is the, the first example that came to mind when you see this is what Jane looked like beforehand and this is what Jane looked like after following XYZ diet, okay? If you have those two images in the one um, creative, that is not allowed because again, we are creating a false reality, a false perception of reality, unrealistic expectations. Um, same goes for uh, real estate. You know, this is what the house looked like before we done it up. This is what our kitchen looked like uh, after we've uh, implemented these tiles and this new method of minimalism or whatever. You know, if you have those two images side by side, this is not allowed by Facebook. Even though you might be thinking to yourself, well, bloody hell, you know, that is just a, literally a kitchen advertisement or a, 
um, you know, sh- something that I've done in my garden to clean it up. Again, that before and after is not allowed. Um, so what you can do in this situation is run a video where you have the before picture first and then the after picture after it. So rather than side by side, you have them uh, basically one by one. Facebook can't really say anything about that. Um, again, like I said, they will try and there will be times where they do reject it, but you can appeal and you are more likely to get it back. Okay, so moving on. Um, like I said, before and afters, misleading claims, uh, multi-level marketing, and then obviously, like I said, uh, alcohol dating, money and gambling, lotteries, pharmacies, and so on and so forth aren't allowed either. So um, what I highly recommend you guys do, if you have a client, a new client for your agency, if you are looking into running ads for yourself, just go to facebook.com forward slash policies forward slash ads, okay? So that is all I've got for today. If you are thinking about running your own social media marketing agency and you want my personal help with it, you want me to literally take you on as a client and help you get those clients in, help you set up those Facebook ads that are compliant so that you don't get your clients' ads uh, or you know, accounts uh, rejected, then I will leave a link in the description box down below where we can just hop on a quick strategy call just to see if we are a right fit for each other. You know, I don't take on a lot more students because obviously, you know, my time is limited. That is not fake scarcity or anything like that. Literally, you know, there's only so many clients I can take on to, you know, to keep that level of quality high and that level of interaction high as well. Um, so like I said, that is why we have that um, quick strategy call to see if we're a right fit for each other. But for now, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked or enjoyed this video, please leave it with a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next video.